From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In 1796, an English doctor named Edward Jenner performed the Western world's first vaccination, inoculating an eight-year-old boy from smallpox. Similar methods had existed in Asia and the Middle East for centuries, but this was the first modern example. It's impossible to estimate the number of lives that have been saved by vaccines. Scientific evidence from the CDC and similar organizations proves that a higher amount of vaccination effectively reduces disease in a population. While there is a small possibility of damage, the benefits of vaccination outweigh the risk. Yet communities across the globe believe this story sounds too good to be true. Here's where it gets crazy. Organizations such as the Australian Vaccination Network and Put Children First believe that vaccines may do more harm than good. These groups are diverse and usually focus on harmful chemicals and vaccines, a perceived connection between vaccination and autism, or larger, more malicious schemes. First, there's the belief that chemicals used in vaccinations can be dangerous. This has been proven to some extent. In 1999, the US government asked vaccine manufacturers to remove a mercury-based preservative named thimerosal due to possible health concerns. Journalists such as Michael Murray believe that large pharmaceutical companies use their influence on governments and doctors to prevent themselves from being called to task for these toxic ingredients. The primary motive for these companies, according to this theory, is profit. Second, and groups like the National Vaccine Information Center believe vaccines can heighten a child's chances of developing neurological disorders. Usually, these groups focus on a perceived link between vaccinations and autism. Often, proponents of this belief report that otherwise normal children begin to exhibit autistic traits shortly after receiving vaccinations. Although studies by multiple research groups have determined that there is no link between autism and vaccination, communities continue to levy this accusation. Third, some conspiracists believe that vaccinations are intentionally designed to do more than prevent disease. Their theories allege everything from nanoscopic tracking devices to mind control and mass poisoning. While these beliefs are outlandish, they're not as far-fetched as you might think. For example, in 2009, a plague outbreak in Ukraine was traced to a vaccine produced by the pharmaceutical company Baxter, which admitted the vaccine was accidentally tainted. Yet this story has largely disappeared from the news, replaced by less ominous stories about sports, celebrities, and pop culture. What happened during the Ukrainian outbreak? And why was the scientist Joseph Moshe, who claimed to have intimate knowledge of the affair, tear-gassed by law enforcement as he tried to reach the Israeli consulate in Washington, D.C.? Even if there was some sort of foul play involved in the Ukrainian affair, the fact remains that vaccines have saved millions of lives. Without this technology, the world would be a much more dangerous place. People have distrusted vaccines since they were invented. Even today, the majority of Americans would refuse the H1N1 vaccine. It is difficult to estimate the importance of this debate because people who believe the spook stories about vaccines may prevent their children from receiving the shots, greatly increasing the child's risk of dying from a preventable disease. If you are a skeptic, then the choice is an easy one. If, however, you subscribe to conspiracy theories, then the calculation becomes measurably more complex because the story of vaccination becomes a story about something they don't want you to know.